Grand Rising. Buenos dias. Good afternoon. Good morning. Here we are with the Nina Vanessa. The beginning of our spiritual altar. We're on week two, day 11. Make sure you do not blow the fire. Make sure you turn it off going like this. When you're going like this, you're actually cleaning your space. You know that with the fire. Just in case you didn't know that. We don't blow it out because we do not want to offend the fire gods. Not at all. Thank God we have fire. Thank God we have light. Thank God we're able to cleanse ourselves with the light and all that great stuff. So, you're either doing your conversations with your spirit guides and your ancestors in the morning, at the beginning of your day. That's how you get your day started. That's how you put yourself in the right state of mind. Don't forget to thank them for the messages that you have received through your dreams. Or maybe you're doing this at night at the end of your day where you're cleansing yourself and throwing away all that negative energy that you've picked up. Throw it right into the water. And then you're carrying it all the way. When you are cleaning yourself and you see a lot of bubbles, that's that energy you picked up. Oh, it is gone. Good boy. Well, that doesn't serve me. Doesn't belong to me. Bye. Ooh. I do this in the morning and at night. And in the beginning, you know, because you're like opening up this portal and you're communicating with them. It's like an everyday thing. This is you do this every day until you have all your cups up every week. You're putting up a new cup each of these cups is going to represent a section of your spiritual guides the next one for week three is going to represent your main guide so please make sure that you're communicating to your guides which one's the main one what is your name these names we don't share these names with others they're for you for your own personal growth Give to other people what their name is. Keep that to yourself. The only person who's going to know their names is somebody else that's spiritual, that your spiritual guide feels comfortable enough to let them know. And they will say to you, so and so said, say his name is Henry. Henry said that you got things all messed up. And you need to open up your eyes because you're not seeing clearly that that man is no good for you. Or whatever it is that message is going to give you. I'm just giving you, you know, a little scenario there. So things that can happen. Because when we open the spiritual portal, other spiritual people start to see a shine. And they, through them, because I know I ask my spiritual guides... You know, if I'm not listening to you, deliver messages through people. And usually it'll be like, you know that homeless person that's always asking for like spirit change and stuff like that. Like that day I'll be like, okay, let me give let me give this person a dollar, whatever spirit change I have. And they turn around and they bless you and they're like, God bless you. Oh, and by the way, and they just start talking to you about a conversation you just had with your spiritual guides. They speak to people. You'd be surprised how they speak to people. Once you open that door, baby, hmm, are you ready for all of that? It's a big responsibility. With great power comes a big responsibility. So the biggest responsibility that you're going to take upon yourself is to love yourself. You have to love yourself. Just the way you are. Your spirit guides are going to blossom when they start seeing you doing affirmations. They're going to be like, wow, she gets it. When they see you look at yourself in the mirror and say, oh my God, you are so gorgeous. You have to tell yourself that you are gorgeous. You have to love yourself. You have to place yourself first, second, and third. And guess what? 
You got to place boundaries on everyone. No should be part of your vocabulary. If something is going to be so inconvenient for you, that's something that you don't want to do and you do not want to participate, but you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, guess what? You shouldn't have to subject yourself to those kind of experiences. You already know that that's not something that you want to do. You don't know why. You just don't want to do it. You got to place your boundaries. Let people know. Be like, no, that's not what I want to do today. No. And don't lie about it. Because our lies could become our truths, you know? Don't lie about it. Don't be like, I don't want to do this because I'm sick. No, I don't want to do this because it doesn't resonate with my spirit. I don't like it. And I'm sorry, but I'm not available for that. Especially if it's for toxic people that you already know. They're toxic. It's just going to be a toxic experience. You should be working on removing all the toxic people from your life. Because the only person that you could change is you. You can't change the toxic people. But when you remove yourself from the equation and you're like, no, I am no longer subjecting myself to that. I am no longer participating in your pity party because you're not looking for resolutions. You're repeating the same cycles over and over again, expecting different results. That's the definition of insanity. So I'm removing myself from that. When you remove yourself from the picture... And these people were usually dumping all of that negative energy on you. They're going to crave for you. And they're going to call you. And you pick up. And you let them know. You're placing boundaries. I'm no longer subjecting myself to people who repeat the same cycles. Expecting different results. I could only associate myself with people who are trying to find a solution to their problems and participate in change but they have everybody has their own way of doing it when you get there then we could continue our friendship or even family members even family members just because the same blood that runs through me runs through you doesn't mean i have to subject myself to your toxic behaviors when you're getting into the spiritual world and the spirituality, your spirits will start. I mean, they're going to be like, no, we're not hanging out with that person. They can't find your address. No, we don't, we don't want you to be around that kind of environment. You're going to start surrounding yourself with like-minded people. People who are starting their altars too. People who already have an altar. People who are spiritual. People who are going to contribute to your spiritual journey and at the end of the day that's exactly what you want and what you need in your life you don't need someone to talk bad about what you're doing you need someone to encourage you you need someone that is gonna nurture you on your spiritual journey not someone that's gonna bring doubt so embrace the change don't forget to love yourself place boundaries and be very clear about the boundaries that you're placing very clear like you're putting your foot down and you're not subjecting yourself anymore to none of that unnecessary behavior you let them know that you are embracing change and that you open a door of possibilities and that you're participating in a yes world you're participating in a timeline that is to your benefit. You're participating in a bubble of light that surrounds you and protects you. Place your boundaries. Make sure that they hold. And it's going to hurt because for some reason we crave that attention, that need, that drama. But at the end of the day, if it's not serving your greater good, why participate in it? It's only holding you back from becoming the best version of yourself. And that's the whole purpose. The purpose is to become the best version of yourself on a daily basis. Sometimes we gotta let go of stuff. Sometimes we have to change. Sometimes we're gonna have to be doing some weird stuff. Because your, your spirit will be like, oh, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And we'll get into that. 
It's going to take weeks before we get into that, though. Because we're only on week two. So it's going to be like seven weeks of daily discussions like this. Every seventh day. Like the seven, the 14, the 21, and so on and so forth. We're going to be raising a cup. And then once the altar is fully up, we're going to discuss what things you, sh you can put on your altar. And it's just going to get bigger and bigger, honey. But let's work on ourselves while we're working on opening up this portal. Let's be a journey. I can't wait to hear about it. Make sure you are journaling. Make sure, oh, if you have a TikTok, you should talk about it like every day. So I'm doing the spiritual thing. And last night I dreamt about this, that, and the other. And tag me in it. Tag me in it. I want to hear about it. Love and light. May your day be full of prosperity. May you find exactly what you're looking for. Love and light.